Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today I'm gonna be experimenting with something that has never been done before so basically if you're seeing flying robot first play uh, like I've done actually I have actually done here right now you expect that a balloon will follow it up but this time we're gonna be playing actually something revolutional which uh, will innovate how people will perceive the game as a whole, at least I hope that's the point of this experiment. So basically we're gonna be playing today a uh, flying robot deck, but uh, without balloon. And my first match will be against 2.6 Super Ape Cycle, so very unfortunate matchup, I would say. <clears throat> because usually you can score very well while playing the balloon against this particular deck, so uh, unfortunately we won't be having this comfort, but we will have a lightning, which is very rarely seen in a flying robot deck, so we'll at least uh, hope that uh, some of our opponents will succumb to the pressure of the lightning. So I'm gonna actually play a steel hammers here and a uh, T-Rex, just to mitigate it. Also my opponent is blocking my flying robot from reaching the bridge, which is absolutely fine play as long as uh, your opponent has a balloon and I don't I don't have one and that's why we're gonna be playing this variation uh, because many people will just expect the balloon to come eventually and we're not gonna be playing it at all so against 2.6 I actually think that uh, we're gonna be having a huge disadvantage because obviously this balloon is very necessary uh, but against other matchups, we're we're gonna see honestly. I would love to take only one hit, and there we go. And right now we are in the double mana time, and I think that's the time where we can actually start playing our lightning uh, way more often. I think we can actually play the lightning right here, and oh my god, that's <laughs> that's a fluke. If there was a fluke to be. To be described that would be the one and yeah i think i've actually thrown uh, out the game because i don't see myself ever coming back my opponent also playing very well very textbook 2.6 i'm gonna actually get a lock with the steel hammer which shouldn't ever happen but at the same time it happened so i shouldn't be complaining about the good things uh, i'm gonna play steel hammer very high just to whittle down this <coughs> explorer try to get as much damage as is physically possible against this super ape and then start the attack with a flying robot while it's gonna be tanking. He's gonna probably play super ape because right now he has no other choice but to counter attack. So I'm gonna just play shield skeletons. I'm gonna blitz it at the correct timing so it doesn't get any hits. He's gonna play flying bomb trying to finish the game but at this point I think it's just too late. We're gonna get a... Uh, Lightning and we're gonna finish the game. So that was a very difficult game, but we've managed to persevere and with that very positive attitude Let's jump to game number two So basically the gameplay is that I'm gonna just be playing uh, Very aggressively with my uh, flying robots and I'm gonna try to get away with uh, As much like flying robot chip and stuff to the point that my opponent will eventually just die to a flying robot damage, which is not something that many people would say is realistically possible. I would love to have a blitz in this position, but unfortunately I will have to sacrifice this uh, T-Rex and try to outplay this Necromancer in some creative way. And in creative way I mean just by playing flying robot at the bridge and these shield skeletons will be tanked for. I think that's gonna be a very cool way of playing it right now, uh, my opponent can instantly counter push and I think that should be the best way of playing. Against ac Actually against Chivache I would love to have a balloon but since we are doing this deck unfortunately we won't be having this luxury. Uh, I'm gonna be having... Uh, I'm gonna get a kill against uh, this one at least. I'm gonna get a T-Rex on the uh, piercing archer so I can simply 
get a counter on the Viking afterwards, and I think... Okay, I'm not gonna be having enough mana for Lightning. If I were, I would absolutely play Lightning against this, and yeah, right now Chivache will get a... Uh, We'll get a lot of apes. I'm gonna just summarize it to this point and uh, I think I'm, I'll have to ignore all of this because uh, setting up the flying robot is way more important for me right now. Uh, yeah, he's gonna set up a piercing archer in the back which is absolutely a correct call and right now we're gonna just enter the double mana time which... Uh, okay, I'm... I'm gonna just amortize the damage uh, taken. I don't think... I can ever hold it, but at the same time, yeah. I'm gonna get a kill on this piercing archer, I'm gonna play this uh, Super Devil, I'm gonna get some shield skeletons on the board, he's gonna play Cycle, which surprisingly enough is a good play in this position. I think my opponent just got away with the crime, because I frankly don't know how to uh, break through it. Obviously, the best... Uh, the best way of playing against it would be to play uh, some kind of... Uh, okay, some kind of poison. My opponent will get away with that as well, so basically I don't have a good spells against my opponent's troops and... Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of failure in the test because obviously I wanted to get a win in every single game, but Chivache very smart with playing his anti-air troops and I fortunately uh, wasn't able to just uh, get past him. Maybe waiting for him to overextend a bit was the play, but at the same time I don't really know because uh, I, I think it's just a very difficult matchup. Even if you have balloon, but without balloon I may even dare to say it's impossible. Obviously with poison or flying bomb it would be better, but like I'm not gonna rant more about it, let's jump to the game number three. And in the next game we're gonna be facing Morpheus, who's gonna start uh, the game with a uh, Fire Tiny, heading down the lane, trying to get something done, and my opponent will be playing a Piercing Archer, which is gonna be very annoying since it's literally the first thing he has done. I believe he's gonna kite me with a... okay, he's gonna be playing with a Digger, so that's gonna be the different deck. Uh, I think I'm absolutely okay by playing a flying robot here, I don't think he has bomb blasters in his deck and even if he, if he would have, it would still be fine for me. So, I'm gonna just be playing a flying robot, he's gonna be playing fire tiny, I'm gonna play a T-Rex in the very back, just to counter these phones and uh, I think we're just good to go with our push. Obviously he set up a mortar to counter... Uh, any uh, balloons that will that uh, could possibly come. I could have not used a lightning against it because it reset the tower and then it killed the uh, the tower killed the uh, T-Rex. Actually, my opponent just resigns for whatever reason, so I'm gonna just three star him. Very weird to see. Usually, I would love to play out this matchup because it's not like too easy against Digger Control. If your opponent gets uh, good defenses, it can be very tough for you to ever break through. But my opponent resigns, probably hopes that he has no interest in uh, playing this game anymore. I'm gonna take that up and jump to the game number 4. And the fourth game of today's video will be against Puleho. I believe you read the DJ that way. He's gonna cycle skeletons, I am absolutely comfortable with it. Also, I'm having a very not okay hand, so I kinda expect him to make the first move in the game. Uh, he's gonna play a super ape, which is absolutely uh, okay for me. I'm gonna just play shield skeletons against it, and I'm having actually a flying robot as a almost last card uh, in rotation, which is was not perfect, my opponent will mitigate the damage from the shield skeletons, which is a very natural move. I think I'm gonna just play the Super Devil, because if I don't, my opponent will just uh, keep on pounding. I'm gonna play a Flying Trouble right here, uh, just so my uh, Super Devil gets value and actually kills this gunner. I would say I was in a very uncomfortable spot right here, but uh, we are back in the game and definitely we can do some things. I'm gonna get lightning against his forces, and unfortunately Super Devil will tank for the Robopops, usually uh, you would love to see it the other way around. He's gonna be playing a Super Ape and 
since I don't have any other play, I'm gonna actually play a Blitz on this Super 8 and I'm gonna uh, get only one hit uh, from it attacking. So, Mokont will go for a Kite with Explorer but fails miserably and right now my Steel Hammer will actually wreak havoc on his tower, getting one hit, make it two, uh, almost make it three. So, um, I would say brilliant start to this game. I'm gonna play Super Devil, just not reveal the T-Rex yet. At least I don't think to reveal it, I uh, believe I haven't played it yet, so it may be still a surprise. Mopold goes for a Super Ape in the exact precise time I'm playing Flying Robot, which is obviously the perfect case scenario for the Super Ape players. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just get a counter against it, that's absolutely perfect uh, for me anyway. I'm gonna get a T-Rex, fortunately he slows my... Uh, he slows my T-Rex down, uh, he's gonna get a very good counter against my Flying Robot, but I'm gonna get some spells and pretty much uh, even out the score. I think my skill skeleton will counter the Super Ape uh, for me to not take a single hit. I'm gonna play a Lightning against his Gunner and right now we're gonna have some troops uh, coming down his lane. I think with the correct kiting he shouldn't be able to receive a single hit but he doesn't so it's absolutely perfect for us i'm gonna actually try to counter the super ape without taking a single hit but it actually does i don't know too many steel hammer interactions trust me i tried uh, but it didn't work out in this uh, scenario so robot will right now get a very desperate for damage killing my uh, uh, Shield Skeletons, which was definitely a good play. Uh, I'm not gonna take it away from him. I'm gonna play Steel Hammer just to pressure. I'm gonna play some Lightning uh, to make the position for him even more difficult. And if he ever goes for a Super Ape, I'm gonna be just... Uh, I'm gonna be just ready with uh, some good responses. I'm gonna actually play a T-Rex just to make some uh, more air pressure. Uh, Robopops will actually deal some damage and that's gonna be GG's nice play because he had to pressure the opposite side so I don't like stack this huge uh, huge ball of push. Uh, unfortunately my opponent didn't uh, recognize how to play the matchup the best way possible and I'm gonna take the win. And that's gonna be the game number 4 of today's video, let's jump to the game number 5 and close this video out. And right now we're gonna face a Lord of Pain with Almost 2000 males, so definitely not a player that we can just ignore. We're gonna play Bullets first play. I think there's nothing wrong with this play, and yeah, we're gonna just wait for his play. He's gonna play EQ. We're gonna play Blitz, just cycle some spells. There's no real reason to get nervous right now. He cycles a Rolling Steel, so I'm gonna just play Flying Robot and pretty much pray that he doesn't have too scary of a counterplay. From his two first spells, I pretty much think he's gonna be playing some Super Ape uh, deck with... Uh, we'll see with what. Uh, I've played... Okay, I've played this Super Devil just at the right timing. Uh, I'm gonna get the best lightning possible here, just decimating everything and everyone. And yeah, my opponent already starts to uh, get toxic at me for playing uh, this deck and I... <laughs> I no wonder why, because uh, it's very depressing to get that much uh, damage, pretty much first play, because you didn't know your opponent's deck. I'm gonna get a blitz here, try to get this uh, gunner down. I was very close to it, but I'm, I'm gonna just barely not make it. I think he's gonna tank it, but if he's not, I'm gonna be even more happy because I won't be uh, having to spend the mana for the Steel Hammer. So my opponent already spamming some noobs in the chat, obviously that was to be expected. My opponent will be playing Shield Skeletons at the bridge, which I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna probably even sack them. I'm gonna play Steel Hammer on my own, try to get his uh, Super Ape. And fortunately Steel Hammer gets a very good splash against his Steel Hammer. Uh, and his super ape. So I'm gonna just play T-Rex here. Uh, unfortunately, the tower targets the uh, T-Rex, uh, so it's gonna be a bit of a bummer. 
Flying Robot, I think, will uh, do a very nice job of dealing with that. Right now, we're gonna get some chip with, from the uh, Flying uh, Robot. And uh, right now, we're, we'll have to just deal with this Super Ape. Uh, he's gonna get one hit. I'm gonna play Blitz to prevent the second one. And he absolutely sacks the tower on the right. So, all we have to do is just uh, not uh, lose any tower in the last 20 seconds and I think it's absolutely doable because we can just play every single card against his super ape and then we can play a flying crop bot in the middle and that's gonna be GG's nice blade so my opponent won't be able to stop this uh, toxic deck from reaching uh, from breaching his tower and yeah that's gonna be the video right here my opponent very not pleasantly surprised about the score of his deck because my, my my flying robot deck had just three spells and no balloons so i would say all in all we've got uh, four wins and one loss uh, i think i'm pretty proud of this experiment yet i still think that balloon variation of a flying robot is way more oppressive and uh, still uh, will be uh, the a major way to go for most players. However, this deck sounds fun to play and if you want to try it out, definitely feel free of doing so. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you aren't already because, uh, well, you can, you can get value from these videos. I'm recording them for a reason. I'm recording best decks that I can come up with or some fun challenges like today I was just trying out if the flying robot can be uh, like viable if it doesn't have the balloon. That was the experiment for today. But I do more experiments like viewers decks, sometimes like challenge decks, etc, etc. Uh, so you may watch my videos for entertainment to learn something or just to copy my decks and try them for themselves. Either way, thanks for support and watching till the end of the video. Uh, like once again if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and i'm gonna I see you in the next episode of Marina.